Hey, this is Alvi from Techitron and you're watching the video review of the Wii S1 smartphone. So this is 2017 and right now the biggest craze is dual cameras. And many manufacturers starting from large scale to small scale have implemented dual cameras to varying degrees of success. So let's take a look at one manufacturer, which is Wii, a local company, that's put dual cameras on the back of a smartphone. But before I continue any further, like this video if you think it's cool and subscribe to help us get to 6,000 subscribers. Holding this phone in my hand, the first thing I noticed was the plastic build. Now this thing has a matte finish which makes it look a bit like metal, but it's nothing but. And in fact, the only metal on the outside of the body is just around the cameras, which I guess is a pretty good thing. So the back isn't removable, and if you want to get to the dual SIMs, you're going to have to use a pin. Now the SIM card slot has a nano SIM card slot which also acts as a micro SD card slot and it has a separate micro SIM card slot so it's a hybrid SIM card slot. I really enjoyed consuming media on the smartphone's display. It's got a 5.5 inch IPS panel and it has a resolution of 720p. It's also using 2.5D Panda King glass so you get some protection as well as that aesthetic appeal. Now, the colors on this device look very nice and vibrant, and in fact, it's one of my most favorite aspects of the smartphone itself. Viewing angles too were great, and the brightness levels were to my liking. I could use this phone easily outdoors, as well as comfortably at night, so it never strained my eyes. Everything I viewed on this display looked nice, sharp, and colorful, and for that, I have to give it a big thumbs up. The S1 is running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and I really like Wii's approach to software. In the previous devices I've reviewed from Wii, I've noticed this as well, but they like keeping their software very simple and close to stock Android. And as a result, the outcome is you get a smooth and fluid as well as a very responsive software experience. Now, another benefit of that is that there aren't many things bogging down the system. There, it isn't consuming too much RAM or anything. And even though you don't get too much room for customization, it's still good enough and you can just slap a third party skin or launcher on top if you really want that customization. But in its stock form, this thing is fast and fluid and I kind of like it. The processor on the S1 is a 1.5 GHz quad-core MediaTek chip and it comes with 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of built-in storage, as well as a pretty large 3000 mAh battery. This battery has consistently lasted me through a full day of usage and with a bit of moderation I could go past the one day mark, but for more or less everyone using this phone, one day is the amount of battery life that you will get out of this. As for day-to-day -day performance, take a look at the gaming so you can get a good idea. Overall, I think on default settings, all the games I played just ran nice and smoothly, there weren't many or any hiccups, and very fra few frame skips. I played Asphalt Extreme, Modern Combat 5, Nova Legacy, as well as GTA San Andreas, and overall, the gaming experience was very enjoyable, and I really had no room for complaints. The plastic buttons to the side of the smartphone are within easy reach of the thumb and are also slightly clicky. On top of that, the home button also acts as a fingerprint scanner. Now this scanner isn't super fast, but it is pretty accurate and so I don't really have any room for complaints. The speaker is on the bottom of the smartphone and it actually gets quite loud. I would have liked a bit more bass on the higher end of the volume, but I think it's okay for the price. The dual cameras on the back are 13 megapixel Sony IMX258 sensors and the front facing 5 megapixel camera is a Samsung 5E8 sensor. 
Now I'm very happy that we didn't cheap out on the camera lenses and they went for some notable brands instead of the cheaper alternatives on the market. And really the results can be seen in the photos. In broad daylight situations, the main camera produced some very nice photos with crisp color, very sharp images, and overall everything just looked nice. And I think the weather even favored these phones because it was a nice overcast day and it was really the ideal situation for outdoor photography. The same can be said for the front facing camera as you'll get some very attractive images which are definitely worth sharing on social media. When things get a little bit darker, uh, well, performance suffers obviously and images get a bit noisy. But that really is expected of any mid-range or budget smartphone. There is a DSLR mode in the camera and this is where you can add a bokeh effect using that second camera on the back of the smartphone. Now in my experience, if you put the bokeh effect all the way to the maximum, things look very artificial. So pro tip over here, just add a little bit of the effect and your images are just going to look very nice. We honestly mix some pretty good smartphones and I think they need to just step up their marketing efforts in order to get a larger audience. The Wii S1 is yet again another good smartphone from this company and I think it deserves a little bit more attention than it is getting right now. This phone costs 14,490 taka and for that price, I think maybe a bit of a faster processor would have done Wii some good. That would have just made this like a really awesome device. But no complaints for 14,490 taka. This performs well, has a great display and you also get 100 gigabytes of free cloud storage and fast high speed Wi-Fi access at selected locations. So if you consider the entire package, I think this is a very good purchase. Thank you for watching this review guys. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you disliked it, you know what to do. Go in the comments, tell me why you disliked it and then maybe have an argument with me or something else. Let's just let's just bring the subscriber count up to 6000, please. I'm tired of 5000 subs. It's <sighs> Thank you for watching. All the links to our social media are in the description below. All the main specifications and other details and possibly an article are also in the description below. So if you have any queries, you know where to go. This has been Avi from Techitron, and I will see you soon. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? 8 sensor. 5E8. 5E8. Yes. Bro. 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 Bro.